Hey, I'm Lise. You ought to come and see my studio. Hi, I'm Lise. Last name is Gia. Kind of a complex name. I am a proud member of the Lick Gallery. And uh, I'd love to show you around inside my studio. I really want to show you the inside of my studio. I do a wide variety of things from animals to rocks, way into rocks, because they're studied the figure uh, at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, and I went on to inform my landscapes with the figure. But hey, here's some smiling llamas, the prestigious sport of llamas. And as you can see, I'm way into rocks. See these rocks? This is a city of rocks, it's called a choir of rocks. They have personality, as you can see. And um, winter painting here behind my table. Uh, I have students in here, I can accommodate about uh, four comfortably. This is the vacation wall. Here's some flamingos with personality. I've got my rocks getting going on. Very serene kind of beach landscapes. Lifeboats over here. Um, and Costa Rica. So I've kind of been around the block. We've got Mesa Verde over here. Um, and then England. I like doing a wide variety of subject matter. I like some gloomy stuff to really bright stuff. This is a backbone in a storm. It's a spring painting. Uh, we got the backbone going on. And I like to do a series of small greenery type things. I have a need for green. I'm, I've been in here for Loveland for about 20 years, but I still miss the green from out east. So, need for green. And then we go on over here. Again, a wide variety of landscapes. I've got a uh, lot Vale going on up here, and then some very pastoral to very rugged landscapes. This is a moonlight scene of the backbone. You know, I can't stand that really bright noontime light, so I turned it into a nighttime thing. You know, you've got to be creative and change when you're painting something. Um, this is a, an attempt at palette knife. Uh, George does a lot better than I do. And we got more rocks going on over here. Finally, we got some lily pads. And uh, they're, again, a different kind of uh, subject for me. But I live for this. And just real glad that I'm getting to do it. And again, that I'm a member of the Thompson Valley Art League. OK, I want to show you my palette. I'm a three palette kind of gal. Uh, my motto is, why go simple when you can go complex? So right now, I'm doing a landscape and also some water scenes. Um, I kind of, it may end up being a four palette deal. I got all my brushes over here. Which I use every single one of them. Um, I used to have to, I used to have a huge salad bowl of oils, but then I had 300 of them and it was kind of a drag going through everything. So anyway, I bought this library filing system, which I'm really proud of. And I'm continue to, continuing to overflow with paints. I work mostly from um, photographic references. And here's the deal. I'm a really lousy photographer, so to me it's a challenge to turn a painting from a lousy photograph into something really brilliant. And it takes, that's where the magic happens in the studio, is that whole transformation thing. So you don't copy the photograph, use it for geographic references, and then you end up imagining. And um, I really feel that we copy nature through our own eye and in fact, make it more beautiful at times. A lot of people don't agree with me, but that's the way I feel about it. Again, so thankful that you guys got to look at my studio and all of the work that I do. Thank you.